How to Delete Build History in Jenkins. Here's today's starting point. I have a Jenkins LTS controller version 2.426.1. I have a folder defined on this controller, and I also have within the folder a job named Q1. Now, if we take a look at Q1, what we can see is that this job has run 10 different times. Now, let's say I want to go in and delete the history for this job. Now, you could use automatic items to delete this history, but let's say for this video, I want to be able to delete these by hand. So first off, if I want to delete build number one, I can go into build number one and click on delete build number one. it will ask, do I want to go ahead and delete? I'll click on delete. And then if we take a look at the output, we now see builds number two through 10. Now doing this through the UI is pretty simple, but we have another way that we can do this and that's by using the Jenkins CLI. If you've never used the Jenkins CLI before, there's a completely different video that you can watch to understand all the details. The link to that video is down in the description. But let's go and see what commands that we need to run using the Jenkins CLI. We'll go to dashboard, manage Jenkins. We'll go down to Jenkins CLI and what we're looking for is delete dash builds. So if we go into delete dash builds, what we're going to see is we need to run delete builds with the job and a range. Now, what does that mean? Well, let's look at the detail. I need to give it the name of the job that we're actually going to be deleting the builds from and then the range. I can either do a range by using a dash, I can use commas, or I can just use a single number. So let's go ahead and exercise all three of those options. So let's go ahead and go over into the console. I have the command ready here. What I'm saying here is I'm going to do the delete builds for folder one, Q1. So let's verify that again. We'll go back to dashboard, folder one, Q1. I could confirm this. The full project name is folder one slash Q1. That's what I have within my console here. Now I'm also saying, let's go ahead and delete build number two. We can see here that build number two still exists. Let's go ahead and hit enter. We can see back from the response, we deleted one build. Let's go ahead and refresh this. What we're going to see is build number two is gone, and now we have builds three through 10. Let's test another option. So let's go ahead and go back to our console. Let's say we want to go ahead and delete only builds three and eight. Just two builds, not anything else. If we go ahead and hit enter here, what we're going to see is we've deleted two builds. We specified three and eight. If we go back over into the job and refresh, what we'll see now is three is gone and eight is gone. And we have everything from four through 10 except for eight. Now, finally, let's test that last range with a dash. In this case, we're going to be deleting four through seven. So we'll say four through seven. Hit enter. In this case, we deleted four builds. If we go back over to our page, we'll go ahead and refresh this. And now the only builds that we are left with are builds nine, and 10. If you have any questions or comments, you can reach out to us on Twitter at CloudBees. If this video was helpful to you, give us a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed to CloudBees TV yet, why not? Take a moment, click on that subscribe button, and then ring that bell, and you'll be notified anytime there's new content available on CloudBees TV. Thanks for watching, and we will see you in the next video.